Radio EGD learners, I'm back and this video we are going to be zooming in on the two elevations and what is required with some practical examples at the end of this video to make sure you absolutely nail this. Okay, let's look on page 13 in your pad document what is the basic requirements for your two elevations. So they need to be drawn to the same scale as the floor plan. Now it was preferred here to be 1 to 75, uh, the floor plan. I said it could be that you might need to use 1 to 100, but please nothing smaller than 1 to 100 to get all of this drawn correctly. So use the same scale as you did for your floor plan with one view showing the front entrance to the media center and the other view showing a side view. Okay, so there's two views clearly shown. What do they want to see? The entrance to the media center in the one and a side view in the other. Both views must include detail of the undercover walkways. That's another important point here. Both of these views must include the detail of the undercover walkway. If you check this paragraph with your actual checklist, you will see there is some similarities. Okay, here again, this is what you need to tick off as you do your drawings. The two elevations will be numbered 5.1.2 and they will show the front entrance the one and the side view the other. The prescribed views, in example, the front entrance to the media and side view, have you drawn it? Have you drawn those two views? Two elevations, one front entrance and one side view. If you've done it, you're going to get one mark. External walls and features, including detail of the three meter section of the walkway to the existing building. In other words, is the external walls all shown, external features shown, and did you include the three meter section of the walkway? If you've done that, two marks. Door and window detail, is that done correctly? Including the door and window frames, don't forget those frames, two marks. I'll show you examples in a moment. Do you have the hip and valley roof detail? Is that correct in these elevations? And your rainwater items, in other words, your rainwater downpipes, etc. Is that clearly shown? Yes, two marks. Wastewater disposal systems. Is your sewer lines included here? I'll show you examples now. Two marks. And is it drawn to the same scale as the floor plan? One mark. So even if you've drawn all of this, but it's not to the same scale as 5.1.1, your floor plan, you are not going to get that mark. All right, that is the detailed overview of what is required for your two elevations. Now let's look at some previous examples that we can learn from. This first one here, and we go way back, but there's a couple of lessons here. If you look at the quality of these drawings, what is required, you have your natural ground level, of course, that you'll have to show, also label that correctly. You'll have to have your finished floor level height, also indicated correctly. Then it mentioned the windows with its window frames. There's the window sill with the opening parts. That's important. You have your doorways with your door frames and the direction of opening in this instance. Make sure that's clearly shown. You have your rainwater disposal system. There you can see it with your rainwater downpipe. And of course, this is going to be dependent on your own design. In this case, there was also a heap in, heap in valley. So this was an L-shaped building. So you can see how this part is extended beyond this longer part here and the Epen Valley is shown in this actual elevation. You've got your um, reach plate that's indicated. You've got your fascias that's indicated. Remember if that gutter wraps around, there's going to be a gutter shown on the side there. Okay, also here, gutter wraps around there, must be visible. Then when they talk about the sewer lines, these are windows to a bathroom and there's a toilet behind this wall or a basin. You have to have your sewer come out. With its inspection eye indicated, we have the rotting eye with a fall of at least 1 to 40. Make sure you label that correctly. All right. And in this case, it's gone to the septic tank. I think yours will go to the municipal sewer. There was ramps here that's indicated. So a nice overview. It's clearly labeled the elevation. And you've added some labels here with regard to dimensioning and notes in your title block on this side. There is a secondary elevation showing similar details that we can learn from. Let's look at one more example. Now this one, uh, don't worry about the one below. This was uh, uh, during lockdown and so the requirements were, was a little bit different from you. But you can see here, it's a high quality drawing to a high standard. 
you've got all the details from the natural ground level all the way up even the height here of the chimney um, some labels showing the indicated uh, uh, a hidden gutter there so you can help your contractor really understand what it is you're drawing by showing a quality detailed elevation and again make sure it is labeled correctly right anyway, that's an overview of the elevations the next video is going to be looking at the detailed section elevation thank you for watching now it's your turn